Okay, we have uh, two multi-step inequalities here. Okay, the first one is 5x plus x minus 1 is less than or equal to 29. Okay, first thing you want to do is look for parentheses. Okay, there isn't any. On both of these problems, there isn't any. Okay, the second thing you want to look for is like terms. Okay, we have a set of like terms. We have 5x and x. So we want to combine those together. Okay, 5x plus 1x is 6x. So we're going to combine those, bring the rest of the problem down. Okay, we have 6x minus 1 less than or equal to 29. And we don't worry about changing the inequality symbol till the very end. Okay, now we want to get rid of the added or subtracted number next. Okay, 1 is being subtracted. If you get rid of it, we would add 1 to both sides. Okay, the negative 1 and the added 1 go away. We're left with 6x on the left and 30 on the right. Okay, the inequality is still less than or equal to. Okay, now at the very end is when we need to worry about if we switch the sign or not. Okay, to get rid of a multiplied 6, we divide by 6 from both sides. Now, since we did not divide by a negative number, okay, this inequality, inequality we started with just sticks, stays the same. Okay, so we do not switch it. Okay, so our answer becomes x on the left. 30 divided by 6 is 5 on the right. So the solution is x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, try the next one on your own. Pause the video a minute and then... Check to see if you did it right. Okay, we have 2x minus 5x plus 1 is greater than 16. Okay, look for parentheses first. There isn't any. Look for like terms. There is some like terms. Okay, so we have a 2x and a negative 5x. Okay, add those together. A 2x and a negative 5x is a negative 3x. Okay, bring the rest of the problem down. We have negative 3x plus 1 and 16. Inequality symbol is greater than. Okay, now we need to get rid of the added 1. The added 1, we're going to do that by subtracting 1 from each side. Okay, that leaves us with negative 3x on the left. And 16 minus 1 is 15 on the right. Okay, the inequality stays the same until the very end when we possibly, when we divide or multiply at the very end. So it's greater than. Okay, now we need to solve negative 3x greater than 15. Okay, we need to get rid of the multiplied negative 3. We're going to do that by dividing each side by negative 3. Okay, that leaves us with x. Over here, 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. And now in this problem, we did divide by a negative. So we do need to reverse this greater than to make it less than. Okay, and I have a text box you can drag over. Just for your notes. Just knowing that we divided by a negative on that second problem, so we had to reverse the inequality sign. Okay, let me know if you have questions.